We opened the doors of the clinic in 1999, having raised $50,000 by asking everyone we knew to give us money. And it is now a three plus million dollar organization that it's just completely surpassed any dream that the other co-founders and I ever had. And I think a lot of that growth and a lot of that trajectory is because of the influence of Diana Taylor. She saw a potential and she saw a, a hole that wasn't being filled for women in San Francisco. And she is the driving force that helped get the Women's Community Clinic to the thriving organization it is today. What's amazing about her is that she's constantly moving. She's always pulling people towards her. When she speaks, um, people can't help but sort of pay attention. And she's deliberate in her speech. She's careful about her words. She keeps and draws attention really well. In terms of working with Diana, she did challenge all of us. I mean, she challenged me, she challenged other faculty. She's a very strong personality. However, when she challenges you, you, you know that she's doing it for a very good cause, and it's, and, and it's a growth experience. I like that about Diana. I, I love her energy, and I, I love her ideas, and, and I think most of us have appreciated all of that. Whether it's research, whether it's mentoring new nurse practitioners, whether it's working here with the clinic, whether it's uh, policy, health care policy. I love hearing what she's up to because it's always really fascinating. It's always really interesting. And it, ha and it motivates me to learn more about what's going on in, in women's health and in the field of women's health. When I started working at ANSWER, um, she was talking about retirement. And that was about 10 years ago, and she continues to talk about retirement. Um, and I think she's getting more serious. But in that time, um, I have seen her really as a, gone from a singular woman advocating and moving forward for women's health. And she's kind of created a whole cadre of women who um, are working for the same things. And we feel empowered and enabled because of Diana and taught by Diana. And um, I feel like she's done in terms of legacy building or transition planning. She has certainly done it, only it's not about an organization. It's really just about this one woman. And it takes an army of us to kind of carry on what she has kind of set forth.